Have you ever been in a situation where you need to open a very large file, which is several gigabytes? You try to open it and the application or even your whole system collapses. Well, the tools like Notepad, Notepad++ or Sublime are not designed to open large files, because they load all the data into memory and if your file is larger than the memory, they might crash. Or they might inform you that the data you want to open is too big. And don't even go and try the office tools like Microsoft Word. Your system will crash immediately. However, there are some tools you can use and here are my 5 favorite ones from the Linux world. Hi, my name is Josh Konsiratzade and I am a postdoc researcher on topics like AI, NLP and high processing computers. Working with large files can be another good reason for using Linux. However, the tools I am going to introduce can be also used in macOS. And even under Android or Windows, one can install Linux emulators. I downloaded all the pages from the English Wikipedia. The file is about 83 GB. With this example, I am going to show you how you can open and examine a large file. The first tool I want to introduce is List. You probably know it already when you use Linux. It lists all the files under one directory. The interesting part here are some arguments, like age, which stands for human readable and converts the size of file from bytes to kilo, mega or gigabytes, and so on. Another parameter, the upper S, stands for sorting the files according to their size. You can of course combine the arguments. Here you see in the example that the downloaded pages from Wikipedia are indeed about 83 GB. The abstracts are about 6.2 GB. The second tool or command I want to show is called head. With head you can see the beginning of a file. With dash n argument, you can define the number of lines you want to see from the beginning of the file. Or with dash c, the number of bytes if your file is not a text file. But it works as well with a text file. This is a great way just to look and examine a file where you don't have any idea about its content. Because it loads only the beginning, it's very fast and stable. The third command I want to introduce is tail. You can see tail as very similar to head, but it opens and shows the end of a file. Here you can also define the number of lines or bytes you want to see with dash n or dash c arguments like in head. If you leave the arguments out, by default you only see 10 lines. One of the additional features of tail, which I like a lot, is the dash upper f argument. This will show you the end of the file in the real time, while it's growing or changing. This is especially handy when you deal with log files. In the example, I was decompressing the pages from the English Wikipedia. And while the file was decompressed, it was written to a new file and one can follow it in the real time. Till now, all these commands show you the parts of a file. If you want to open or scroll the file completely, one of the good ways of doing it would be the command less. Less does not load the complete file into memory, but opens only the lines you see. So with less you can scroll through a file and see what is in it. Less has a very familiar syntax like v or vim style. The fifth tool or command I want to show you today is the famous grab. Grab is a very fast and mighty searching tool for patterns in text files. At the same time it's very efficient and fast. So, if you want to search a large file for patterns with regular expressions, grab is the tool to go. It will not only allow you to search a big file, 
but you can also select some parts of it with grab and copy it into another much smaller file. Let me show you how to do it. First, let's search for Corona in our Wikipedia file. You see, the tool starts to print out the results immediately, despite the fact that the file is 83 GB big. If the search takes too much, you can stop it with Ctrl and Y anytime. And here one also can see how tricky a text search can be, because we not only found coronavirus, but also other words like coronation. Of course, with the help of regular expressions, one can easily deal with these problems. Ok, searching a word is not only thing you can do. As I mentioned before, you can use regular expressions for more intelligent search. We could for example check all the timestamps from 2017. This shows there are some files in English Wikipedia which were not updated for at least 5 years now. We can go even further and select with the help of a little regular expression only the first quarter of 2017, telling Grab that the last character should be either 1 or 2 or 3. This last part stands for the months. Now, let's look at one another example. Let's search for all the titles without knowing anything about its content. Here we define an expression which consists of a dot and a star behind. Dot stands for any character and star is the so-called quantifier telling that this character might occur multiple times. And we can even go further and copy all the matches into a new file and look into it while it's filling with titles by using the tail command. Grab is a very powerful and complex tool and one could do many videos about it. It uses different flavors of regular expression for example, with the argument upper P, you could use Perl style regex. So, this video was about opening large files from the practitioner's perspective. What is your opinion on this topic? What tools would you add to the list? Please feel free to comment and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Bye bye!